Good morning. Oh, <clears throat> I haven't really talked a lot yet today, so my voice is a bit cracked. And my hair is all over the place, I can see now. Um, so I guess I have to fix that. <laughs> not in not too long. It is Thursday morning, 4th of May, and I thought I would do a little end of the week reading vlog. Life is very busy at the moment, and yeah, I try to read uh, when I have time, but I thought I would do a little reading vlog and take you along on my end of the week. I am working on Saturday actually, so there will be work for the next few days. <laughs> subscribe to the channel and press that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos. just finished this book, Friheten's Øyeblikk or The Moment of Freedom by Abida Raja and Håkon F. Høydal. Abida Raja is actually the sister of a very prominent politician in Norway and this is the story of her growing up and also being forced to marry uh, a, a man and the whole <laughs> story it was a very a very touching story very important uh, this came out last year it's a book crossing book so I got it yeah book crossing ah uh, yeah it's very hard to, to find words to describe this book because it, it, it is a very very hard story to read and the fact there are things happening even now it's kind of i don't know uh, as a norwegian uh, it's very uh, ethnical norwegian it's very very um i wouldn't say surprising but just like the reality of it is very gripping in a way how she's forced to marry someone and she's been experienced violence during her whole life being hit first by her dad and then by her husband. Her brother also wrote a book that has was published uh, the year before, a couple of years before, I think. A couple of years before, if I remember correctly. Uh, which I haven't read, but that I am planning on reading, hopefully this month. I'm not sure, I'm on the waiting list at the library, so fingers crossed. We'll see. Hopefully I'll manage to read it this month uh, and hopefully maybe in not too long. But a very gripping story, very interesting read, uh, non-fiction. Next read up is Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney and I bought this at Chapters in July and been planning on reading it for a while. I really liked Normal People so I am very interested to see how this will turn out.
I am on my way home from work. It's still Thursday and this morning was hectic. My partner actually put in a bid on a house Tuesday night. We were viewing it on Sunday and there were a deadline today at 12 noon. Nobody else bid on the house. So he got the house for like asking. So that's quite exciting and we will be moving in August and I will live in a new city, start a new job, actually starting 1st of July so I have to commute in the beginning but that means that as soon as we've moved I will be able to walk to work which will be amazing. So looking forward to that. Big news <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Been doing a little bit of reading today both to and from work as well. I Especially to work I didn't have that much focus but that's okay. Almost home and I will maybe do a bit more reading when I get home or before I go to bed maybe. We'll see how tired I am. It is Saturday morning already and I'm going to work in a couple of hours or less than a couple of hours but I thought I would start with reading and drinking coffee. I've made my coffee but I'm currently sitting outside and I was hoping to sit outside to read but it's still too cold to sit outside. I tried the other morning and I think I was like sitting outside for just like five minutes or something and then I was like no, no I have to go inside and continue reading there so I did that. I am now probably halfway through conversations with friends I think I can't quite remember. I didn't get to read as much yesterday as I had hoped for because I was so tired and when I actually went to bed last night there was a big party in a building not far far away and it was so much noise so I had a hard time falling asleep and then I had to go to get up early this morning and I was, yeah, so I just, but I was so tired, I just fell asleep anyway. I am going to read, I'm going to sit, go inside, drink my coffee and read and then I need to decide what I want for breakfast because I am going to work in not too long, I guess. Uh, I got up extra early because I just love the little quiet time with my book before heading to work. So, ooh, coffee, yes.
I have arrived at work and I thought I would just make a little bit of a quick update. I finished conversations with friends on my way to work. I really enjoyed it. I just love that there's a bi main character. She also has a endometriosi, which is a theme that is not very often discussed in books. And I don't envy anyone who has it. Fortunately, I don't have it myself. I also started a new book, The Vita Carta, or The White Map by Cecilia Engit. It's a historical novel. I don't know a lot about it yet, so I am excited to see what that brings. I have read other books by the author previously and really liked them. I also met the author a couple of times and she's really nice. But yeah, I have to get ready now. There's work to do. Happy Sunday! I am actually standing very close to the bus stop because I am going up to TaylorMade for a donut and some coffee and reading. I have decided that I wanted to bring another book than the book I was reading last night because there's another book that I am currently reading but I haven't been reading in it for a good while so I thought it was about time to continue reading in it. So I have that in my little small rucksack and I will read in it when I'm at the cafe. standing outside what used to be a school well it's still a school but it's a different kind of school and I used to work at this former school as a school librarian and that would be in this building behind me and there used to be like a school library there
It is actually getting kind of late. I have been sitting outside and drinking wine and reading for a little bit. Not long, but a short while and I am actually thinking of moving inside because I was hoping that it would be warmer to sit outside to drink wine and read, but it's a lot colder than I had hoped for. It was quite warm during the day today. I think it was like 15 degrees Celsius or something, but it's getting really cold so I'm going to just sum this up and say thank you for watching. If you have managed to get all the way here in this vlog, please leave a penguin emoji down in the comments. And I'm sorry for the noise, there's a kid down in the backyard with a pogo stick jumping. I know, very annoying and I'm very much looking forward to move somewhere where there will be no kindergarten or playground, just under the balcony because it'll be just like a little garden and then stone and that will be ours <laughs> so that will be great so I'm going to move inside very shortly and continue reading my book and drink some wine before going to bed and I just wanted to say please subscribe leave a comment tell me about what you're currently reading I would love to hear what you're reading right now like this video and I guess that's it for now and I will see you in my next video Bye.